Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Me and Desmond here are out on a truck camping trip on a beautiful Sandy Lake location. So what's this look like to you? A beach. Look good. It looks like a beach. This is actually a freshwater lake and I camped here last week in a similar spot just on the other side of the lake. So what do we got today? We've got fishing. Yeah. We've got a metal detector. And we've got some awesome food and we're going to be staying right here for the night this entire lake and all of its beauty right here is going to be our home right yeah so let's get everything unpacked we still have to get the outside packed up yeah. uh, or set up i should say we have a, a tarp awning that we're going to be setting up we've got chairs we've got lights and then we've got everything inside that we've got to get ready so let's get to work and then we can start having some fun yeah Okay guys, we've got our chairs set up and we've got our tarp awning overhead because it is going to be calling for rain a little later on this evening. Yeah. And I gotta say, what do you think about the spot? It's yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. We're about 15 feet off of the lake water. We've got the truck leveled out. I put some wooden blocks underneath the wheel so we are totally level for sleeping. Looking out the side window of the truck camper, we can see the entire lake. That's pretty awesome, eh? Yeah. So if it does rain, we're gonna park our butts right here and enjoy this lake front view that we've got. And hopefully we have a decent evening before the rain comes in. So what do you say we do a little bit of fishing right now? Yeah. And then we'll start on lunch. Yeah. All right, so let's get some fishing gear ready. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I've got both fishing rods ready to go. Desmond's over at the edge of the water fishing right now with his rod. And uh, something very unfortunate just happened to my fly rod. So I have not used this fishing rod in well over one year. And it has been bumped around in the corner of the house every now and then. And it totally snapped on my first cast. So. After inspecting it very closely, I could see some white paint exactly where it broke. And it looks like it got stuck behind a door at home and somehow cracked the rod and I didn't notice it. But that first cast, it snapped completely. So that is my nine foot fly rod done. That is not going to be able to be used. The only thing I have left is a small six foot fly rod that I customized years ago. This used to be a nine foot rod and I cut it and sectioned it down to a six foot rod for really small ponds and very small creeks. The problem is it does not cast very far. We're in a major lake where I really need to cast out quite far. This guy can cast out maybe 20 feet. So this is all I got to work with. Desmond's got the good fishing rod. I'm gonna let him continue that. We may trade off at some point, but I'm gonna try my best to use this a little later on if the fish come in closer. They were rising close to the land, close to shore. So later on this evening, I might give this guy a go if I can get it cast out far enough. Uh, very unfortunate, but kind of funny. The very first cast, it snapped my fishing rod. So I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna set this up for now and I'm gonna let Desmond fish for the first little while. I'm gonna get camp a little bit set up. So we do have tables and a few more things to do. I'm gonna take care of that. And then we're just gonna, basically just gonna take turns fishing and then we're gonna get into lunchtime. Okay guys, I've got camp pretty much squared away for the evening. Desmond is still down on the edge of the lake fishing and I can see some firewood right over there just a few feet away from the truck. So I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity, go and collect some firewood with my saw. 
bring it back here, hopefully get it all processed, and then I think Desmond and I are gonna grab the metal detector and take a walk up and down the beach for an hour or so, and then get into some lunch, and then just relax for a few hours and watch the sunset before we get into some supper time. So, firewood, let's get that done and out of the way. All right guys, we've got firewood all taken care of for now. I believe we have enough kind of process just down behind the camera. And we are getting ready to go metal detecting. It is getting very windy out and there are some very dark clouds rolling in just over the trees behind the truck. So we're gonna try and do this now just in case we don't get the opportunity to later on. Although I guess we could in the rain, couldn't we? Yeah, but it'll get, the rain will get all in the buttons. Yeah, so the metal detector is probably not going to agree with the rain. You're probably right there. So I'm just putting a shovel together. We've got the metal detector ready to go. We've got our uh, our pin pointer. I'm the pin pointer guy today, so I'm going to carry that because Desmond doesn't have a belt on. So I've got that. Uh, let me see what you got there for pieces. That's the, the one right there. So you got the top, I got the bottom. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get this put together. We're going to have a quick drink of water to make sure that we're hydrated because it is very hot out. And we are going to start combing this beach up and down and hopefully we find some treasure. So you want to screw that in there. You can do the last piece. 
I'm actually excited for this because there is a lot of garbage on this beach. We're going to collect it all. We're going to get it out of here. But where there's garbage, there's often treasure because there's a lot of people that come out here. So hopefully we'll find some treasure. Want me to start that for you? There you go. And who knows, might even find some money, right? Yeah. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to carry the shovel and the pin pointer. You grab your metal detector and we'll grab the headphones and we'll start walking up the beach, yeah. okay? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so our very first find, and we are like 15 feet away from the truck, and we just came over here. I said, let's start over here near the rock because chances are someone will be sitting on the rock. What'd you find? A quarter. We found 25 cents right here, so that's my thought, is someone was sitting on the rock and some change maybe fell out of their pocket or whatnot. We got it on the pin pointer, so Desmond actually found it on the metal detector, and I started snooping around. We found a piece of rusty metal, and then right next to that, the little end of the corner was sticking up out of the, or the quarter was sticking up out of the sand. So pretty awesome. Let's get a sound on that again. Wait for it to turn on. That was awesome. So you found something. Yeah. Awesome. So let's put it in your pocket. We're going to keep going. This is much funner than fishing, I would say. We're going to try fishing a little later on, but I think we're going to be tied up with this for quite a while. What do you say? Yeah. You want to find some more stuff? Yeah. So we're gonna start walking, start checking, and hopefully we'll find some more stuff. Garbage. On to the next piece. Ooh, tent peg. I think that's the fourth or fifth tent peg we've found so far. Yeah? Yeah. We're gonna have to start a tent shop with all these tent pegs. <laughs> all right, so that's we're finding a lot of garbage items up in this area, which is totally fine because we're still finding things. Uh, but we do have a bandana with us that's going to be helpful once we get down towards the water's edge. And I think that's where we're going to go right now. So let's get the junk out of your pocket and we'll throw it on the tailgate. Yep. I'm going to grab this stuff and I'll meet you down at the water's edge. Yep. Okay? Okay guys, we are back from detecting. We were out on this beach for about an hour, an hour and a half, just sweeping, picking up all kinds of garbage, but we did find some treasure. So, what is some of the garbage that we got here? Some bullet casings, tent pegs. Yeah, we do have some bullet casings. This is actually interesting. So we have new 22 caliber brass, and we have some old 22 caliber brass. So this is rather recent, and you got three? Yeah, three are... that are quite old that were deep in the sand. This one was sitting almost on the surface. So we've got total of four. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think this one was deeper because there's so a bunch of sand. Yeah, it is full of sand. And Remington. All right, so we got four. And we found probably about 10 or 12 tent pegs, but we only brought three of them back. The rest we just kind of set in a pile next to a rock. Uh, we have a ton of melted aluminum, all these yeah. little nuggets of melted aluminum. And that's basically from people throwing pop cans and just other cans in the campfire, which is not really cool, but we did find a whole bunch of it and we actually got it in a trash bag. So that's right where this is going to go. Uh, what else do we got? We got two pull tabs. We do have pull tabs off of cans, so aluminum pull tabs. We've got this iron roller, looks like it's off some kind of uh, maybe trailer pin or something. So. That's interesting. We have some bottle caps. Bottle cap. We've got a snap. So this is actually a snap that's like a button snap to either overalls or someone's garments or whatever. So that's pretty interesting. Some foil. We've got aluminum foil. And 51 cents. So we actually found a, an old quarter. It's actually just from 2008, but it's, it looks like it's been beat up quite a bit. That was rather deep in the sand. And then we've got two quarters. One, what are the dates on those? This one's a 2018 and a 2009. So 2018 and 2009 quarter. So we've got 51 cents. That's yours. So not too bad. We've just been having fun out here, just kind of combing the beach. And there's a lot of garbage. So we were cleaning all that up. And uh, we'll get all this stuff in a bag as well. But that 51 cents is yours. Yeah. First actual on location metal detecting trip with his new pinpointer. So you got the pinpointer, which was tremendously helpful. This thing is a must if you're going to detect, absolutely. So between that and your detector, you had fun. Yeah. And we're not done. We're going to try it again a little later on this evening, and we're going to go back to fishing a little later on. But what do you say we get this cleaned up, and we get the camp grill out, and we'll save the fire for later on, but we'll get the grill out, and I have a steak and burgers and hot dogs, a whole bunch of stuff. Why don't we cook that up, have supper, yeah. and then see what else the evening brings. Yeah. All right. Okay guys, it is supper time now. So I'm gonna start cooking up our meat. And what I've got is a big old T-bone steak. I've got a bunch of hamburger patties and a whole pack of hot dogs. We're just gonna eat until we're full. We've got plenty of snacks also. So I'm gonna cook all this up right now. Desmond is down by the lake doing a little bit of fishing. I'd like to join him soon because it is almost sunset. So I'm just gonna get all this meat on the grill. I got some charcoal in there right now, which is now burning really nice and hot. Get this on there, let it cook, and kick back and relax a little bit.
Okay guys, supper is all done. We had burgers, we had steak, we had hot dogs. We are both extremely stuffed. Now Desmond is over collecting some more coins out of the sand. He just found a penny, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I got ahead and put the 750 with water on top of the, the leftover charcoal that's in that stove. And I'm basically just gonna make him up a peanut butter hot chocolate mix. So that sounds really good. He wanted that before pop. So we do have pop and marshmallows for later on with the campfire. But right now, I just wanna get this cooked up and then kind of move all my cooking stuff off to the side and make way for a fire pit. Cause I'm gonna do a fire pit right out front of the tarp and we're gonna kick back and relax soon and do a little bit of fishing. So hot chocolate time and then clean up in campfire mode. All right guys, evening is finally here. We've got our campfire going. We're just kicking back right now, enjoying a drink. And then I think we are going to get both the fishing rods out. The water has calmed down nicely and the fish are starting to jump. So I'm gonna try my hardest at getting that short six foot fly rod to reach out there. And Desmond's gonna take the, the other rod with a spinner bait this time. And we're just gonna toss it out there probably for a good 30, 40 minutes and see what happens. If anything does happen, we're definitely gonna show you guys what we caught. Uh, but if nothing happens, we're just gonna play it real nice and quiet and just enjoy the evening.
Oh, he had it. They're hungry. That might have been the same one I had if he's still if he's still in the same area. All right, guys, it is now nightfall. We've got our campfire ripping nice and hot. We've got a beautiful setting right here, just feet off the water. So we almost caught some fish. We had some fish come up. One grabbed my fly. I was using a floating grasshopper. And Desmond had a few bites, but he missed setting the hook, so the fish got off. So hopefully tomorrow morning, maybe we'll get up and we'll try it again if we have enough time. If not, that was pretty awesome. It was pretty cool. The sun was setting, the sky was purple and pink and just beautiful out here. So we, we had a great time. Even though we didn't catch any fish, we had a really great time. So right now Desmond has his marshmallow stick. If you want to hand that over to me real quick. Careful you don't spill your pot. So we've got our marshmallow stick. I've got it all trimmed up nicely. If you want to go and hold that in the fire just to kill off all the germs. And then once that's done, you can get your marshmallows on there and you can probably sit down in the sand and roast them up nicely, okay? Yeah. Go ahead. You be careful. Don't burn yourself, okay? Yeah. So that's going to be our plan for probably the rest of the evening. We do have a movie that we want to watch inside of the truck on my phone later on. So that's going to be the plan for that. But I think for now, we're just going to chill out in front of the fire and have some marshmallows, sip on some drinks, maybe a few snacks and basically just enjoy the nice peaceful quiet out here because it is absolutely awesome right now so marshmallows relax time we'll catch up with you guys very soon Okay guys, we're just getting inside of the truck and listen to the loons. That's pretty awesome. So we're gonna be hearing the loons on the water all night long. They've been going for the last little while and they're most likely gonna go all throughout the night. So Desmond's already jumped in there. He's already cleaned up, ready for bed. Just gotta get into his pajamas. And I'm going to jump in right now. So we got the campfire just crackling outside of the window. We can see it right out the window. Nice warm glow coming in through there. So that's pretty cool. And we're going to start on our movie night. So I'm going to get the camera inside, get all this closed up, get changed, and start our movie night. All right, guys. We are in the truck. Doors shut. And now we have to start the routine of swatting all of these mosquitoes. Because there's a few in here, isn't there? Yeah. A couple up there. Yeah, we've got probably 20 to 30 mosquitoes in here right now, so we're going to get to work at uh, eliminating those, and we are pretty cozy in here. So this is the very first night for me, and the very first night for Desmond sleeping inside of the new camper setup. So this is with the, the no bed. I'm on the floor now. I completely scrapped out the raised bed, and I went ahead and put a solid wall in here with another shelf and completely did the, the headboard up here, completely redid that. And so far it is absolutely spacious and very easy to get in here and just all around, I love it. I love it so much like this. What do you think? Yeah. It's pretty good. 
So we both have a huge bed. We're basically just gonna be lounging in here for the night, snacks, kind of laughing, joking around, watching movie. And we'll get some of these bright lights off and then we'll enjoy some of the green light, eh? Yeah. We put on green or blue, we'll pick a color. But that's basically it for tonight, guys. We'll see you first thing in the morning for, I'm gonna do coffee, you want hot chocolate? Yeah. All right, coffee and hot chocolate it is, right out in front of the water. So good night, guys, we'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, so Desmond is now up and he's just snacking away on a few breakfast items. We're cheating today. We're not doing a full breakfast. We're doing a camp breakfast. Everything he wanted, he's getting. And part of that is some lemon cookies. So these are pre-made. I just got to add some water in here and get them steamed up so they'll be nice and warm. Yeah. And we're going to do hot chocolate. So his water, your water's boiling right now, actually. That was good timing. So the water is ready to go for your hot chocolate. I'll get that made up. And we're basically just going to have a really relaxed morning. We are going to do a little bit of fishing. I was already fishing while you were sleeping, by the way. I did not catch anything, of course. Uh, so we're just going to kick around camp and have a, a leisure morning, get these done up, get that going, and uh, hot chocolate. And then we're going to slowly get packed up. Hopefully this rain holds off. It's been coming in and then off and in and off. So hopefully we can do all this before the rain actually starts to come in heavy. Alright, so our lemon cookies are in the pack. Those are going to come up to temperature. We're going to have two nice warm cookies, which would be pretty interesting, right? Yeah. Pretty cool how that works. 
Uh, so we've got coffee, we've got hot chocolate, and we've now got rain. Look how big the raindrops are out there. Yeah. It's not raining fast, but it seems to be raining heavy, which is kind of different. Uh, so it is likely going to continue raining, unfortunately, but uh, hey, we're nice and dry. Yeah. We got the nice tarp, kick back and relax. As long as we don't get a side wind, we'll be okay, because I only brought a small tarp. Now, if I was out here on a downpour trip, I would have brought a larger tarp and maybe folded down the sides to create some walls and whatnot, but we'll save that for a different day, maybe in the fall. Get some different setups, and we also have an interesting setup to go along with winter that I have for the truck, but I'm not going to touch on that until it gets a little colder. But uh, all in all, pretty fun trip. Yeah. We've uh, we've got this entire area to ourselves. It is nice and quiet. We had the loons last night. Yeah. You hear those? We had the truck window wide open, and the loons on the lake were just loud as can be, and Desmond was shocked because I always tell them how loud they are and how far they echo. You found that out last night, huh? Yeah. They echo forever. So he kind of looked at me and he went, wow, you weren't kidding when you said those birds echo, right? Yeah. They echo across the entire lake. So we're going to enjoy, like I said, hot drinks. And we're going to relax here for a few minutes and see what the rain does. And uh, hopefully our cookies will be ready in any moment. And then we'll eat that. And I think what we're going to do is slowly pack away our tables and our chairs. And we'll get that situated. And then last, we'll get the tarp down because that's going to be all wet. Yeah. Okay. All right, coffee, hot chocolate, soon to be cookies. Okay guys, everything is packed up. Desmond, do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Had a great time. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Really fun out here. So it is pouring with rain. He's smart. He went inside to stay nice and dry. So just wave bye to the camera. I'm just going to shut the door quickly. All right, so he's all dry. So all in all, this trip was really fun. We had the rain, we've had clouds, we had loons, we had a campfire. Great time, great scenery. Now it is time, unfortunately, to get out of here. So I'm going to have to do a bit of a U-turn, get the truck started. I do have wooden blocks underneath the tires, so I'm going to have to collect those as well for leveling the truck. And all in all, a great time. So thank you guys very much for joining us, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.